yet another session on AWS and in this session we are going to discuss around how to set up a S3 bucket for static website hosting and how to point a custom domain to this S3 bucket for serving the website content. So to quickly look at what we are trying to achieve. So this is what we are trying to achieve. We are trying to host a custom application. So this is a sample application that I have developed and uh, we want to host it on a custom domain like this. So techhub.in is the main domain that I own and I intend to have this application up and running on subnet calculator.techhub.in. So what we would require for having this kind of a setup, let's have a quick look. So on the first part, we will have to create a S3 bucket with the same name as the domain name that we plan. So here we plan subnet calculator.techhub.in. So we'll create a bucket with the same name. Then we will upload our static content uh, to this uh, bucket that we will be creating. So I have a folder with images and a index.html file. So this application is nothing but a JavaScript uh, based application. So, mm, so it's, it's a static uh, content and a statics file from which like this application could be running. So once that is done, then we will need to set uh, the permissions, correct permissions for the bucket as well as the object. So we'll use the policy to provide uh, permission, uh, get object permission uh, on the objects uh, within the bucket that we created. And uh, once that is done, uh, we will have to enable the static website hosting and that would reveal the endpoint uh, for that particular bucket. Uh, and this endpoint is through which we can access the bucket or the application uh, directly from uh, S3. But going beyond uh, this endpoint, what we intend to do is we want to configure this domain. So we will have to go and log into our uh, domain name provider and we have to go into the uh, DNS zone editor. And from there, we will be editing uh, the DNS records to add a CNAME record. And this CNAME record would have the uh, name um as a subdomain so subnet calculator will be adding there and in the target for the cname record we'll be uh, providing our s3 endpoint that we get uh, from uh, the uh, bucket once we enable the website hosting so that's uh, all that we require to do so let's go through these steps one by one Okay, so we are inside of our S3 uh, dashboard. So here, let's uh, click on create bucket. And as said, the bucket name should be matching the domain uh, that we want to use. So I am using a subdomain of techhub.in, which is our main domain. So what I'll do is that I'll create it with So that is going to be the subdomain over which I'll be serving this application. So subnet calculator.techhub.in is my bucket name as well. And then you can choose the re region. On this part, nothing to be changed, but here you will have to enable the public access for the bucket. So just uncheck uh, this option, acknowledge and then move down. I'm not enabling versioning as of now because that is not in requirement because this is just for a demo purpose. But if you are uh, hosting actual application, it will be good if you want to maintain the different uh, versions of your code. So now going down, I just create the bucket and we'll come back to the bucket. And here, what we have to do is that we will go to properties. No, not on properties, but on permissions. And we scroll down to edit the bucket policy. 
and in the bucket policy we are going to edit this policy a bit to provide the right permissions so i'm saying that i am allowing all principles in action i am saying s3 allow the s3 get object and in my resources i am going to define the bucket arn for the bucket that we just created okay so all that we have to do is just add a slash star so that all the objects within this uh, bucket uh, have the required uh, permission for the get object action so that is all that we have to do here we'll just uh, save the changes and that is all that we need to do from the permission perspective now let's go back to properties and this is a very important uh, action that we need to perform so here what we need to do is that we need to enable the static website hosting so just edit enable static website hosting and in fact before doing this step what we should do is that we should go back to our bucket So what I will do is now that I have already shown you uh, the files that I have here on my local system uh, towards my application. So I will need to upload these files. So let me click on upload and I will add the files. And let me go one step back. Okay. So the file is added. Now I will add the folder. and we have everything set now so just click on upload and this would take some time so i'll pause the video till the time the upload is happening okay so now we can see that all the uploads are completed successfully so let's close this upload and go back to the bucket to check uh, whether the files are uploaded so you can see here then these files are now uploaded successfully so what we can do is that now we can go back to the bucket properties okay so here is our bucket so we'll go to the property section of this particular bucket and we'll enable the uh, static website hosting option so click on edit and then what you can do is just click on enable and that's all that we have to do we can specify the uh, default document so for me the default document is index.html i have not carrying any uh, uh, specific error page so i'm just defining as the error page in because this it is just for demo purpose so that's all that we have to do and just save the changes and all that we had to do here is done if you go now to the bottom you can see that with respect to this particular bucket we have got a endpoint so this endpoint we can copy and if we click if we open this endpoint we should be seeing our application so as you can see here that the application is 
uh, getting served and you can see that it's working fine also so everything is working fine now with this application up and running fine we have completed the first part of our uh, objective the second part of our objective is to have a domain name a custom domain name configured to point to this application so as discussed earlier we are trying to have this application running on subnet calculator dot in what you see here it is the static uh, website the s3 endpoint this is not what we is the final state so what we intend to do is that we intend to have a domain a subdomain subnet calculator of techhub.in point it to this endpoint so for that what we'll have to do is first you copy the this endpoint then you have to log into your domain provider go into the dns uh, settings and in this dns uh, uh, records you will have to insert a cname record so you 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 have to select cname and then in the name you have to provide the sub subdomain that you have decided so for me uh, i have decided that i will uh, have this hosted on then that is the subdomain on which i want to have this application running and the target is the endpoint so what i will do is that i'll just remove the protocol from this uh, record so subnet when i say here name subnet calculator it implies subnet uh, is a subdomain of my main domain which is tech hub so i am actually managing all my records for tech domain tech hub dot in so actually with this i am creating a record which says that subnet calculator dot tech hub dot in would point to this s3 bucket endpoint and i'll just had this record and that is all that is required to complete the process now what we can do is that it might take some time for this record to go live but uh, we can check it right away we can type subnet calculator dot tech hub dot in I have tried this earlier as well while showing to you so it's coming so now you can see that the endpoint is available over subnet calculator dot tech hub dot in as well so this is the s3 endpoint the application is getting served from here but it is now on the main domain and this is how you can set up your custom domain and have your application running from a s3 bucket so that's all for this video thanks for watching if you really like the content please do not forget to like and subscribe thank you mm -hmm.